Thank you and welcome to the 18th Annual Japanese Speech Contest. I'm Kate Leonard, Honorary Council General of Japan in San Diego. And today I'd like to share my reflections on the benefits of studying Japanese. Of course, there's the obvious, you learn another language. And that certainly is a lot of fun, but there's other benefits that you may not have thought about. For example, studying Japanese deepens your understanding of English grammar. When you're tested on English grammar, a lot of times you're answering what sounds right. We've grown up speaking English and we instinctively know what sounds right. But through the study of Japanese, we learn about nouns and verbs, subjects and objects, and that helps us in our understanding of the English structure. The study of kanji also gives us an appreciation for the Greek and Latin roots we have in English. We find through the study of kanji that our vocabulary deepens. For example, the kanji for middle, chu, or naka is used in words like chugoku, for China, the middle kingdom, or for chugako, middle school. If you came across the word churitsu and you realized that ritsu meant stand, you could understand that churitsu means neutrality. So just like the study of kanji increases our Japanese vocabulary, an understanding of Greek and Latin roots used in English increases our English vocabulary. We have ology for the study of. So we have words like biology for the study of living things, geology for the study of the earth, and you may run into a new word with ology at the end and, and you will know that it is the study of a particular field. In literature, we can understand our own literature more through the study of Japanese literature. For example, The Tale of Genji, Genji Monogatari, is a very famous novel from 1,000 years ago. And in this novel, we've got the main character, Prince Genji, who encourages adversity, he's banished, he acquires an education, he's involved in a number of relationships, political intrigues, and not only is Prince Genji a well-defined character, all of the major characters are not black and white. They have elements, if they're good characters, they have their flaws, and if they're evil characters, they have elements of good. And that's what makes the tale of Genji such a great piece of literature. In our language, we have the Harry Potter series. And like Prince Genji, Harry Potter encourages, uh, encounters adversity, and he is banished, he has relationships, he deals with political intrigue, and what makes the Harry Potter series so fabulous is the character development. So we can learn what good literature is through the study of Japanese literature. Through your participation in today's speech contest, you've learned quite a bit. You've learned how to set a goal, you've learned how to structure a presentation, you've learned presentation skills, but there's something more that you've learned and that is how enthusiasm is contagious. Through your teachers, through Tachibana Sensei, you've learned an enthusiasm for Japanese. And I hope that you pass this Japanese enthusiasm along. So in closing, I would like to say, Nihongo Gambate. Thank you and the best of luck to all of you.